There's nothing that screams an Aussie barbie more than the smell of a beautiful piece of lamb being cooked on the barbie. Now, I'm going to show you how to make this, but what I've got here is an entire leg of lamb that I've removed the bone from. I've marinated it in a little bit of parsley and garlic, and I'm just going to cook it until it's beautiful and golden brown and still pink in the centre. So, while that's happening, I'm going to show you how we got it to that place. So what we do is we start with the leg of lamb. Now, this is the top of the leg of lamb, which you see there's a little fat cover over the top, and the underside, where there's a little meat um, that's sort of exposed there, this is the underside. So we're going to start on the underside. We're going to butterfly the leg of lamb, which means removing the bone and opening it up so we can marinate it and then throw the whole thing onto the barbie. It's such a delicious way to cook. All right, so get a nice sharp knife. What you do here is you basically go down, make an incision lengthways along the leg of lamb, and you're looking for that bone. So, of course, you can see it starts there, and it ends there. So it's a pretty good chance it's going to go right down to centre. So just go ahead and just sort of poke your, your knife in, and once you find the bone in there, and I'll show you that, once you find that bone, you then just sort of start making small incisions along the length of the bone, and you'll literally feel it with your knife. And just use your fingers to sort of prise or pull that lamb away from the bone. Right, so now you can see I've got literally a hold of the bone down there, so you can really start working off that. So you go ahead and work all the way up, and there's a little joint here, so you can actually see where that bone moves. There's a joint in here, so we're going to go around that as well. And you'll see the lamb, the actual meat of the leg, will start just to sort of fall away from it as you make these sort of short, sharp incisions. OK, so once you make that final incision, you'll see there's virtually nothing left on the bone. If you've got a dog, he'll be a happy guy. If you don't, that's OK. Um, and then you're left with this beautiful leg of lamb. And now, to open it up so it's a nice flat piece so you can throw it on the grill, you just make a couple more incisions. See, that's a nice big piece up here. What you can do to make that more even is just sort of, again, make another incision, butterfly it open. That's where the term comes from, to butterfly something, to open it up just like a butterfly's wings. So you end up with this beautiful, nice, big, even, flat piece of lamb. What you do next is you take that, pop it onto a big tray like this, and then you marinate it in either a dry rub, or what I'm going to do is a wet marinade. So you can see here I've got parsley, some garlic, plenty of olive oil. Pour that all over. You could use mint, you could use olives. It's, it's really endless what you can do. Just make sure that you get it on both sides. Now, you can leave it in the fridge. Overnight, you could put it in for a couple of hours, or you could just pour it straight over before you put it on the barbie. The longer it marinades, the more flavour you're going to get. So once the lamb's been on the barbie for about 20, 25 minutes, and you're going to have to turn it a couple of times while it's on, just go ahead. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Pick it up, bring it over to a cutting board. Now, this is a really important part of doing a leg of lamb this way. You must let it rest. It's going to take about 10, 15 minutes to rest before you can carve it. Don't forget, it's a leg, so there's a few different muscles in there going in different directions, so it's really, really important to let it rest. Now, by taking the bone out, we've literally been able to cook a beautiful leg of lamb in 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how hot your barbie is. If you were doing it with the bone in, of course, it takes a lot longer to cook. You know how long it takes to, it takes to roast a leg of lamb, 45 minutes plus, depending on the size of it. So this way, it's a really fast, simple way to be able to do it. In 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how delicious that is. OK, so our lamb's had plenty of time to rest. I've got a nice, sharp knife, and I've got a good appetite. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to cut off a little piece of that lamb, and then I'm going to literally across the grain. And once you've cut a little piece here, you'll be able to see which way the grain runs, right? The grain's running this way on this particular piece, so I'm going to cut against it. Look at that. You want this lamb to be nice and pink, not bloody. You don't want it to be too rare, in my opinion, but you want it to be nice and pink still. Just cut straight across the grain. You don't have to cut it on an angle to make it look bigger. It's so much nicer when it's also much more tender when you cut directly across. Go ahead and pick all of that up. Look at that. Beautiful barbecued Aussie lamb. There is nothing better.